Hello, this is Vern, and if you'd like to understand five clear warning signals that a man is not interested in commitment, well, stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you what those are in my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you five clear warning signs that the guy you're connecting with is not looking for commitment. So many women that I have a chance to connect with are so confused as to whether the relationship they're in is headed in the right direction or they're just wasting time. So I thought about giving you five mm, principles that might give you some clarity. Now, I'll ca give you a caveat on these five principles. They're not written in stone. Sometimes these things can be present and or not be present and the guy's still interested in commitment, but the clear this are along the lines of what I'm telling you, the more likelihood you're with a guy who really is looking long term. Number one is he's pushing for sex early on. What does that mean? Well, guy is gonna have, wanna have a connection with you physically many times before you do. Not every time, but many times. Now, if he's the kind of guy who's interested in something long term, if you're the kind of woman he eventually wants to introduce to his mom and his family, he's not gonna push to have sex with you on the first date. He's not gonna have to pu push to have sex with you on the second date. He's gonna wait to know you a bit better so that he's doing something that makes sense, you know? So if the guy is pushing early on, there's, it's not just like a super red flag, but you can push back. You can say, well, these are my standards. Now, if he continues pushing, then you know that this is a guy who wants his own selfish needs met first and is not looking into long-term what's best for you. I don't want to hear from the example you might think about from your Aunt Lucy who had sex in the back of her car the first time she met your Uncle Bob and they ended up being married 45 years. Because for every one example that you can share of that type, I can share a million other examples of women who connected with a guy, fell into him emotionally uh, and the guy was just physically connecting with her and nothing ever happened. He actually used her and moved on. For you. So Number two, he's not curious to get to know you. Here's a guy who talks a lot about himself or who talks about shit that is inconsequential and that's, there's nothing wrong with that in balance, right? But he doesn't really ask you questions that prompt you to share more of who you are. So he is in a relationship that's kind of fun but not necessarily a relationship that's going into any depth. Number three, there's a lack of balance between what he wants to do and what you want to do again. If he's not the kind of guy who's focused on asking you what do you want to do and who are you and what makes you tick, then he's probably going to suggest stuff that's interesting to him without really paying attention Is that if that's something that's fun for you. So a guy who's more um, focused on himself and meeting his own needs is typically a guy that's not looking long term because a guy who's looking long term is making those investments initially into getting to know you, into getting to do things that are exciting for you so that you feel more attracted towards him. And sometimes it's a subconscious thing, but guys who are commitment minded know the balance between what he wants and what you want and are willing to be in service. Number four, there is no progression of commitment in the sense of getting you to include, be included in his world, meaning you're, he's not introducing you to his friends, He's not introducing you to his family. He's not making you a part of his life. It's like you and him are this separate thing in the world, which feels really romantic. But when you really think about it, if a guy's thinking long term, he wants to include you because he wants to make sure that every, because when you connect with someone, first of all, if you really love someone, you're so proud of her and you want people to know that you're with her. But also you want to make sure that all the moving parts of your life are in sync. So when you make that move, life is better instead of worse. Okay, number five, he's unwilling to talk about what he wants and when he wants it. Now, many guys are afraid of commitment and they'll avoid the conversation of commitment for a long time, but they come to a point where if the guy is commitment minded, he's going to bring it up. He's going to push, he's going to hint, he's going to tell you what his plans are and he's going to be moving them forward. When a guy is very comfortable and he's not talking about what he wants and he's not telling you when he wants it and you're the kind of person who has to be pushing him to kind of give you more all the time that is a clear sign that the dude that you're with is not really thinking about commitment so if you think this is helpful insightful useful i'm going to ask you to do three things number one click like on this video number two subscribe to my channel number three on the description of this video 
or on a link somewhere on your screen here, you'll see a little button show up that will allow you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting where I'll be sharing with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff, absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on any of my videos, including this one, and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you. Thank you.